Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, welcome back to my channel. Hey, um, today we're gonna do a little bit of unboxing. Um, um, show you a couple of things that uh, we're gonna be doing on the 66 and the 2009. Um, open up, I already opened up these boxes, so I know exactly what's in there, because I kind of forgot what's in there, I had these boxes for a while, so no further ado, let's get to it. All right, first thing first, I got, I got this grill. 2009 ships in Morocco. The reason why I had to buy a new grill is because I did a year, well, I did a year in Korea, which I just got back from, and before that, I did uh, nine months over in Europe. So, with that, uh, while my truck was sitting, my grill started bubbling, it started cracking, so I had to get a new one. All right, um, let's go here. These are the headers. For the 66, so you know, uh, for the 66, so you know, I'm gonna uh, change, uh, change the manifolds out and put these on there so I get a, bit, uh, a little bit more horsepower and better sound and exhaust. All right, so another thing for the 66 here is this digital a dash. Uh, Teletronic, so you know, um, I already got one in there, but by my mistake, I messed around. And I sat on my plexiglass and I, I broke it. And uh, I had a, in order for me to get a new plexiglass, I had to order a whole new um, uh, digital dash. So now I got two of them, so one might be up for sale. So you put this right here, this right here. In this box is a car of the uh, what, what extends by exhaust. Here in this box, I have um, my new steering wheel that I'm putting on uh, from Forever Styles. I'm sorry, Forever Sharp. This here's the uh, adapter. This here's my horn, horn button. And here is the steering wheel. I'm gonna put this in, this is gonna be outstanding. Well, I can't wait for this day. This here will go on once everything else is done. This will be the final piece to add to that, to that truck when everything else is done. Yep. We wanna do that once everything is done. Put this over here. This is just gonna be a quick video, guys, for me. I'm not gonna hold you up. Just showing you a little something. You know, my future content or whatever is happening going on. This right here is uh, the tail lights for, for the 09 Silverado. I'm telling you guys, when I tell you that putting tail lights on is not hard for these trucks, it's very easy. Just the hardest part is gonna be you picking what tail lights. And this other box. I'm gonna do tail lights as well. These gonna be good. These gonna be good. I'm standing because my other ones are all scratched up. I have no idea how that happened. And they're peeling. You know, these here have lights on the inside right here. Yeah, this, these gonna be outstanding. Very, very nice. Very nice piece. Gonna make my truck stand out. Got that right here. This right here is for the headliner. I'm going to 66. I'm gonna put a headliner in it. You know, to make it uh to part modernize it a little bit. This right here, these are Copper brake lines. Yes, I need to do brake lines from the front to the back. I want to do them in copper. And this will be my first time doing that. So if I can't get it correct or it's not looking good, then I'm gonna have to buy all OE OEM brake lines and put them on. But 
I gotta figure that out too because what I put on this, this truck is not gonna be OEM because this truck came with drums all the way around. As of now, it has disc brakes all the way around. So I needed to go a new booster, a new, look, that's the mess on this, this the booster right here. This is the adapter and all the stuff I need to adapt it to the firewall. So, yes, this piece here will be very aggressive. I'm trying to add this stuff to it. But, it's gonna be a good deal. It's gonna be very great. So, as you look, see guys, oh man, we're gonna come up these shoes. So, Here's my tips. I don't know yet if I'm gonna go here, go like this way, go like that, or push it out the back. I don't know. It's gonna look good back here. Back. I don't know. But I have. I'm, I'll, I'll know as I as I go along. I gotta up the cable. To, uh, for my battery because as of right now I have to start my truck from the front with my battery because the cables are not big enough to push a power from back here all the way up front so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna add this now also I'm gonna add this cutoff switch because I want to be able to control my control that you know to be able to cut it off when I get somewhere so nobody take my truck now, so I'm going to do overrun the uh, power cable from back there to this, which is right there in the middle. It's going to be right there in the middle between the seats. And then from there, over to the starter. And we should, we should work perfectly fine. And this grounding, this big grounding cable, this here will be back there. All I need to do is just ground it. And, you know, I got some other, I got like four grounds on this truck. So I should have enough grounding power. It runs now. As long as I take my battery up front and uh, connect it and run it from there, it, it, it works fine. And I don't want it up there. Here is these new adapters here for not adapters. I'm sorry. These go in here like that. And these my uh, LED tail lights for the back of this for the back of my '66. You know, I got two lights. I already ran the wires already. I just need to connect these. But that's not that's gonna be a minute before I can be able to do that. And, uh, as those as we start putting stuff on and uh, making stuff um, jive together, which we're gonna have to make some things jive together because uh like I said, this truck was set up for disc brake, you know, for uh, drums all the way around. Now it has disc brakes on it, so we have to uh, make some changes. We have to make some things work so uh, that our brakes work. So, um, you know, we're gonna do a lot of, a lot of uh, figuring out as we go along. Um, so, I have content for you guys, you know, to keep this channel moving. Just uh, be prepared for it, man, so on standby. Uh, I'll probably, thinking people are more interested in this here, this truck, and instead of my Mustang, which I get, you know, because I want to, after this is done, I want to get me a 60 to 66 Suburban. So uh, I want to, I want to, I want to get that, get my hands on that, and take it apart, and uh, re redo it. To me, to me, older vehicles are more, are more um, more interesting to work on than newer vehicles. So um, that being said, man, like, comment, subscribe. Be on the lookout for my videos. Um, and I already got one video out right now, so maybe should, by the time you see this, I should have three videos out. So a total of three, maybe four. So um, like, comment, subscribe. 
and and give me those comments, man. So I you know what you what you like, what you don't like, um, well, what you looking for me to do, or what you want me to do, and uh, let's build this channel. All right. So with that being said, peace.